Okay, hello there, grade 5. For today, we are going to learn about percentage. Okay. When it comes to percentage, all you have to do is to think that it's basically ranging from a certain percentage to a total percentage of 100%. 100 refers to total. So if you notice for your pages 115 to 117, for pages 115 to 117, you have small uh, boxes, no? shaded and unshaded parts. And if you notice that the illustration shows us 100 tiny boxes, which represents each box as 1%. Okay? Each small box is equivalent to 1%. Okay. Kasi if uh, we are going to complicate things that even any, kahit ilang, ilang, ilang boxes lang kasi can represent 100%. Even two small squares can represent 100%. Uh, but in this case, since uh, this is an introduction, so the illustration shows us 100 square or small boxes para to represent one small box as 1%. So basically, very easy lang yung activity ninyo dito. For example, for number 1, it says there, percentage of the squares are shaded. So in this case, all you need to do is just to count the number of shaded parts meron sa, sa entire big square. Okay? So ganyan lang yung gagawin ninyo. And of course, for the unshaded part as well, you just need to count since these are all total to 100. So, ganun lang muna ka-basic ang introduction ng percentage ninyo. Okay? So, now counting the number of shaded parts and unshaded parts. Pero pagdating sa page uh, page 116 for letter B, it is you who is going to shade the, the total percentage that you need to shade off with the big square. So, for example, for number 1, 45%. And since there are, are 100 tiny squares, you need to shade off 45 tiny squares. Okay? So, that will cover 45% of the big square. Okay? So, ganun lang yung activity ninyo. Okay. Complicating things. Moving to page 118. This is the part where you're going to change a percentage to decimal to fraction. So, medyo komplikado to. Not that complicated, pero at some point, no, yung especially for decimal to fraction. Pero madali lang naman yan. No, no worries. We have percentage. I'm just going to note it as P, which represents percentage. And we have uh, decimal, D, decimal and of course we have f which is fraction i'll just represent it with x over y wala lang yan uh, it's, it's just a symbol na pinapakita that it is a fraction okay so changing a percentage to decimal ito muna yung focus natin percentage to decimal muna so for example we have um let's say 12% Changing a percent to decimal is basically taking the same exact value or digit rather. It's just that from percentage, you move one uh, two decimal places to the left, knowing that the decimal place of a whole number is after it. So for example, ang 12, ang decimal niyan is always after it since, uh, it since it is a whole number. Okay? So that's why I place this point over here. And moving two decimal places to the left, we have 1, 2. So, ibig sabihin, as a decimal, nandito na siya ngayon. And formality's sake, of course, when we have a decimal na ganito yung format natin, you add a zero before it. Okay? So, which means 12% in decimal is equivalent to 0 0.12. Okay? And as a fraction in relation to percentage, that uh, a certain value is basically out of 100. It actually depends on the on the situation that we are in, okay? But in this case, um, 
to represent it as a fraction, all you need to do is just to take the digit, uh, the number rather, which is 12, and add an initial 1. Okay, ganyan lang yan. Ganyan lang muna. Basic natin. Add an initial 1 and count how many decimal places you need to move. 1, 2, adding up 2 zeros. Prang over 100 lang yan sila. Once the digit is below 100, so which means all you need to do is just to copy 100 as our denominator. So, ibig sabihin dito ngayon, 12% is equivalent to 0 0.12 or 0 0.12 sa decimal. And as a fraction naman, it's equivalent to 12 over 100. And if you know how to simplify, you can simplify it. Pero I will not require you to simplify anymore. So, that's 12 over 100 or 3 over 25. Okay? Simplified yan. You actually know how to simplify. This is our past video now. But if you can simplify, don't, please do simplify. Nandun yan sa simplifying natin when, inter in comes to, when it comes to fractions. Past lesson natin yan. Okay? So, ganyan lang. Changing a percentage to decimal to fraction. So, let's take another example. Ganun lang kadali as long as you get the logic of it. Let's say we have 27%. Is equivalent to, as a percentage to decimal, two decimal places again. 1, 2. So, that leaves us 0 0.27. Okay, then as a fraction, since the since 27 is below 100, so you can just easily write 100 there. Okay? Kung masimplify nyo, then simplify it. But I think 27 is a prime number, so hindi na natin pwedeng simplify yan. Nothing to divide unless it is divisible to 100. Okay. Now, what if you're going to encounter number single-digit uh, number, such as let's say 8, percent what if it's eight percent again as long as you will follow the rule you need to move two decimal places one two okay so which means and ito ngayon ang decimal what do you do with the empty space you fill it up with zero so which means eight percent is equivalent to zero point zero Okay, remember, nandiyan yung decimal natin. 0, 8. Okay. Then again, getting the digit, 8 is under 100, so you can still write it as 8 over 100. Again, just para klaruin ko lang, 8% is equivalent to, in decimal form, is 0 0.08. Okay, not 0 0.8, kasi ang 0 0.8 will be equivalent to 80%. Iba na yun siya. Then, again, as a fraction is 8 over 100. And you can still simplify it, which is equivalent to 2 over 25. Okay, so ganun lang yan. If you know how to simplify. Pero yun nga, as far as I know, that's our past lesson. But I'm not gonna require you. Uh, basic lang naman to. Okay, so that's how you do for page 118. For page 119 naman is very basic. 119. Very basic to. Dito is basically doing the opposite. Changing a decimal to percentage. Okay. Decimal. So for example, let's take yung kanina sa number 1, yung 12, 0 0.12. No? Decimal natin is 0 0.12. Again, to change it to percentage, kung kanina moving the decimal places to the left, ngayon naman is moving the decimal places to the right. Again, how many is 2? Dalawa lang. Always yan 2. Standard natin yan. Because it's basically multiplying or dividing by 100. Yung rule. This is basically a, a, a shortcut. Parang a technique. Okay. Moving to decimal places, we have 1, 2. Which place the, places the decimal after the 12 now. Which means, as a percentage, it is now equivalent to 12. And of course, don't forget to write the symbol 
of percent. So then again, just to make it clear, 0 0.12 is equivalent to 12%. Getting the logic of it, if we have 0 0.15, the percentage is 15%. Ganun lang yan. If you have, uh, let's say, 25, 0 0.25, it is equivalent to 25%. Now, what if you have, let's say, 0 0.3? You might tell me, teacher Mark, it's 3%. No. Wrong. Hindi pwede maging 3% yan. Then again, doing the basic rule, two decimal places, 1, 2. There's a space there. Filling it up with 0. So that's equivalent to 30%. Now what if it's 0 0.01? Teacher Mark, ano kaya ang sagot? Move two decimal places, one, two, and you're left with just one itself. So the answer here is one percent. So big sabihin, if you have a value of 0 0.2, 0 0.02 rather, the answer is two percent. If 0 0.2, that's a different story. The percentage here is 20 percent. That's just the same as 0 0.3. Okay, look at the difference, please. Most common mistake when it comes to changing decimal to percentage. Ito talagang nangyayari. Okay? 0 0.02 divided by 2, uh, divided by 2, sorry. 0 0.02 is equivalent to 2% and 0 0.2 is equivalent to 20%. Okay? Ganun lang po kadali. Okay? And last is changing a fraction to percentage oops so page 120 yan okay so paano na nga ba natin to chine change out of 100 so parang if i'm going to to teach you the technique para para kasing uh, it might complicate things eh finding kasi uh, all these numbers kasi na nandito ngayon from 1 to 10 every number can be changed or converted or make it equal equivalent to 100 by simply multiplying or dividing it by a certain number so I don't want that kind of technique kasi masyadong simple I mean single single yung technique niya now what if we have a certain value that you cannot multiply to a certain number that will give you uh, 100. So, for example, dito sa numbers natin, no? So, number 1, you have your denominator as 2. 2 can be multiplied to 50, that will give you 100. Ang 4, multiplied to 25, will give us um, 100. So, I don't like that. Kasi, what if, let's say 3. Oh, what will you multiply with 3 that will give you 100? But as long as hindi lang siya decimal, okay? Dapat whole number siya. So, in this case, I'm not going to teach you how the book wants me to teach you. So, instead, when you change a fraction to percentage, all you need to do is basically just to divide. For example, for number 1, gagawin natin yung number 1. 1 over 2. 1 over 2 is basically 1 divided by 2. Diba? As a fraction to uh, a division sentence. So, i-divide nyo lang muna yan. That's 2, sorry, that's 1 divided by 2. Okay. So, division process lang tayo. 1 divided by 2 is 0. Cannot be. Uh, kasi, wala. Hindi, you cannot fit 2 into 1. 0 times 2 will give you 0. And you have 1 minus 0 as 1. So, when we deal with uh, fraction, percentage, we most likely deal with decimal. So adding up a zero here will give us a decimal point here, which also gives us a decimal point in our answer, sa quotient. Okay, bring down that zero. 10 divided by 2 will basically give us 5. 5 times 2 will give us 10. 10 minus 10 will give us zero. So if you notice again, no, babalik lang tayo dito ngayon. So 1 over 2 is now equivalent to 0 
if you notice from fraction form, it now became a decimal. And what uh, the page, this page 120 is asking us to change the fraction into percentage. So which means from decimal, what we did here, kanina, all you need to do is just to apply this process, decimal, to change it to percentage. So how do you change 0 0.5 decimal? Two decimal places, one, two, filling out the space with a zero. So, ibig sabihin dito, our percentage for 0 0.5 is 50%. Okay? So, ganun lang gagawin ninyo. That's basically it. Okay? So, just to make it clear, that's 1 over 2 is basically equivalent to percentage as 50%. Okay? So, yan, yan lang yung activity ninyo for today.